Okay, this morning I'm wanting to try and create this video for my friend Chantal to try and show her how to solve question uh, three, um, option number four of the assignment two for the C programming module COS1511. So if we read the question, it says here write a function compute price that receives two parameters the first one is a character variable indicating the size of the pizza s m or l and the second an integer variable indicating the number of toppings on the pizza so if i look at this uh for me i could easily quite easily write a void function and on top of a void function, um, I could add those two parameters. But we need to read what it's actually asking uh, us to do right, uh, right to the end. So if we see here, it says, it then computes the cost of the pizza and returns the cost as a floating point number according to the rules. So, here we're saying we can't have it as a void because they're wanting a, a return of a floating, a floating number. So, instantly that just tells me that I must uh, create a float function. But as we know, um, we have to first, I'm starting off on a blank sheet. So, we need to uh, add all our... Um, main command types and the first one is using the hash include and because we want to be able to see it on the screen we're going to use the io stream which is input output stream okay then the next thing that we need to use is we're going to use the standard um, namespace of the C++ so we type here using namespace uh, namespace standard okay and now we can start writing our function so as I said uh, they want us to return a, f a float because there it quite comfortably says floating point so we want to create a float function for this question. So it's float. They've then given us what the function name is, which is this compute price. So we just use it over here. Compute price. We then get told that it must accept two parameters. And it says the first one is a character variable indicating the size so for me character variable represents char so i'm going to create a um, char and i'm going to call it size since they're saying indicate the size of the pizza so yeah i use that and then the second is an integer variable so we know that that should be int because it's an integer variable. And then the number which represents the number of toppings on a pizza. So for me, I would have just called it toppings. Okay. And then we can now go ahead and define our function, um, which is what they've specified here where they've said it then computes the cost of the pizza and returns the cost as a floating point number according to the rules the rules below so what i would do is i would say i want to represent i want to represent a floating variable and so what i do what i did was create a float variable and I called it um, amount because I want to know what the total amount is of the the pizza plus the toppings 
Okay. So from here, uh, I've I've uh, used the um, a switch statement to to request um, whatever the person has um, sent through to uh, this function. Okay. So what we do is we say switch and size. And then we say open up brackets. And as you can see, they are saying that the character variable would have been uh, S, M, or L. Okay. And I also would amount, I would also have this float amount equal zero so that I've initialized it to a zero. And then under my switch statement, I'm going to then specify what what should happen depending on which option the users pass through here so the first option we've got case which is going to be s for small and over here i'm going to say amount amount equals and then the price that they've got specified here so I've got uh, 50 Rand 50. Okay. Uh, 50 Rand. Yeah. Uh, plus, and I've put it in here as 550 times my variable that represents the number of toppings that uh, I'm having to multiply by. Choose toppings. Okay, so that will give me my result. And just to uh, just to have it representing this specific uh, line here, in case that they, in case the lecturer wanted it, I would just add a C out statement, and exactly as they have it, uh, small. Pizza equals and or fifty rand plus fifty. Then, as you know, we end off our um, our case statement with a break because it will execute it will execute all the code right up until you get uh, to the command break. I'm going to pause the video until I've got to the um, to to typing out the rest. Or oh, actually, let me just get it done. So it's in there. Case and M because we've got the medium, and then we declare it. Equals seven plus six point five
finally the the last um, case. I'm gonna just copy and paste it. That is ninety. Okay, so that is the end of my case statement over there, end of my switch. And I will obviously say return amount so that it uh, returns the float. And from here, we can go and start creating our main function um, int main and yeah we can either choose to have uh, to have it declared um, inside here uh, the the float um, and ass assign it which I'll do anyway I'm going to create another float variable um, and I'm just going to say my uh, my total And obviously here is where I'm going to ask the question. Um, yeah. You also have to create the, the same um, variables that you you passing through here. So we're going to create a char variable. Um, yeah. Uh, let's say pizza s and then another int variable um, of toppings um, pizza t okay and yeah we're gonna go And as you as you can see now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say my total, which I'm also gonna actually uh, make zero or initialize to zero initially, and then I'm gonna say my total equals. I'm gonna call the function name, which is compute price, and I'm gonna pass the two variables that were uh, entered by the user okay so that should return the my total amount so what I what I would do is just create an option that says see out uh, the total for this order is okay obviously forgetting my uh, string commands or my commas and then you can put the total for this order is my total and end l for end line 
The only difference is that I would uh, use the commands to make sure that you can see the uh, a more friendlier output. Um, so I'm just going. And that more friendlier output is to first off uh, set the output to a fixed dimension. Then we're going to set the decimal output to two decimal places. So that's what these two lines are, <coughs> are used for. So now if I run this code, you should see uh, if I choose a small, medium or large, um, it will calculate the prices accordingly as well as whatever I've specified as uh, the number of toppings. That's the screen. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, let me just add a display and a window capture. Yeah. Okay. Here it is appearing. <clears throat> okay. So if I choose 